Larry at Hagemeisters wanted to show you what we're doing to this 2008 Gulfstream motorhome. Has an international chassis. Uh, it's new to us, and we were installing valve stem extensions, which these are very handy because they bring your your tire pressure out to here, so you can fill and monitor here. So we, we got these installed, but we ran into another problem with the wheel cover. So these wheel covers are, these, these are all fake. And the only way you know that you're on the two that hold it on are, it's got the little indentation there. So when we removed that in this process, we found out that we only have this much. Very difficult to get that nut on there. There's just not enough wheel studs sticking out to, I feel, to hold that. So we're going to have to extend those studs or, or do something to, to uh, fix this problem. So I wanted to give you an example here. Uh, the coach actually came with this wrench, and I'm going to take off a front uh, nut here on the wheel cover to show you what it really should look like. So see, it's got an indentation right there. So pull that back now look at how much stud is sticking out there now that's pretty good compared to what we have in the back which is just a tiny tiny bit so that's what we got to address on the on the back hub I'm going to loosen this other nut and we'll get this wheel cover off and as you can see same thing I mean, just a tiny, tiny bit. Here's what we got. We got, got them marked right here. And you can see we're going to have to do something to get that more like the front. They're awfully tight. Take some torque to get them off. This one here is a little bit stiff because the end of those threads get chewed up because you can't get that on there. So let's drive those studs out of there and see what we got. So we're going to just start the nut on here so that we don't damage that stud. And we'll get here where we can tap on that and drive it out of here. As you can see, uh, they're short compared to what we need, and we've got some replacement studs, but the problem is the shank was too big, so we've had to cut this shank down in the lathe and uh, get them to the right size so they'll fit in that hole. They're a metric stud, 22 point by 1.5. Also, I want to mention, we actually cut these nuts off that hold the wheel cover on in hopes of being able to get them on easier but it still didn't help and you can see if you look real close right there how those threads are getting compromised from trying to pull them on to such short amount of stud also here's one of the wheel nuts that we use to to pound this stud out of there and you can see you got some hammer marks here which can't be helped so we have a 22.1.5 die and a 22 by 1.55 tap to clean this stuff up so it goes in real easy. Just about got this cut. There, just about got it. Should be in good shape. We'll just check our size here. Yeah, that should work. Okay. There, cleans up those those threads really nice. So now when you reassemble, you don't have any problem with the threads.
Now it's just a matter of tightening these down and pull the studs through. Also, tightening these back down, they need to be really tight, so I'm going to tighten them about as hard as I took them off. I kind of know what strength I had there. So what we did, we got the studs in, torqued down, we went and bought extra wheel nuts and some chrome caps uh, with a flange on them so we've got a good surface to put that wheel cover on. Now take a look. Now that's more like the front wheel that you got enough to put them on. They should have done that at the factory. I don't know why that wasn't done, but I think it's real risk trying to make sure that wheel cover stays on, especially when you have these on, because if that ever comes off, it's taking these with it. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Lots of times these valve extensions only come with an outer nut and they want you to put that all the way through there. I really recommend two nuts so you can tighten those nuts against one another. More like this. That way there you've got some squeeze between those nuts to hold it versus pulling up against your air airline. There. All set. Well, we've got that job done. I really like the idea that we've got a longer stud uh, for more threads for them nuts to hold on the wheel covers so we don't have to worry about that. We've got the valve stem extensions on so we can air up the tires easy. Down the road I want to show you here uh, a way we can air the tires and also we're going to install a tire monitoring system which keeps track of the tires temperature and air pressure as you're traveling. And along with that uh, emergency fix for a flat if you were to get that on the road. Thanks for watching.